Hello, I'm Derek Roddy, and welcome to my first video. Alright, one of the most frequently asked questions I get being a death metal drummer is how am I able to play fast for so long and still maintain power and keep it clean? Well, in this issue we're going to go through a few exercises that I've been working on for the last year or so that hopefully will help you guys get started in the right direction. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you will need will be a metronome and you will need a watch or some type of clock or anything like that you can keep an eye on the time because most of these are going to be exercises you do for two minutes or longer okay they're geared more towards endurance and not for speed definitely not something that's geared towards speed but you definitely want to be able to get through these if you don't make it the full ten minutes and start over and go to a slower tempo that you can make it through the whole ten minutes because it does you no good unless you make it from beginning to end like I said these are exercises that are going to develop your muscles in your arms and your legs that are going to allow you to be more comfortable at your drum kit when you're playing fast tempos for long periods of time. So, good starting point to get on on this is about 180 beats a minute considering that most death metal bands are playing well over the 200 beat a minute mark now these days. Most of these guys out here are flying. And uh, what you want to do is you want to keep it kind of slow but you don't want to be too fast either. You don't want to develop yourself like I said you don't want to be struggling to get through this thing. You want to try to push yourself, but you definitely don't want to struggle to get through it. So 180 beats a minute is about where I'd like to start with this. If it's too fast, go slower. You know, if you don't find yourself making it through it, then you have to slow it down and slow it down. But it's very important to be comfortable, get through this relaxed, and make it for the entire 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll show you what's going on. All right, basically what you're going to do is you're going to play... 10 minute exercise with your hands, 10 minutes with your feet, and then 10 minutes with your feet and hands combined. Okay? Now you can do this anywhere. You can do them on your legs. You can. You don't even really need pedals to do this with your legs because what you want to do is develop your muscles. So you definitely want to use some leg motion and try to develop your legs if you can while doing these. Alright, what you're going to do, the first exercise is two, is two minute segments five two-minute segments equaling ten minutes. The first two-minute segment is four on each hand. The second two-minute segment is eight on each hand. The third is twelve on each hand. The fourth is sixteen on each hand. And then you're going to end up doing single strokes for the remaining two minutes of the exercise. Like you're playing a blast beat. It's very important to notice and make sure that when you're playing that you're using the same, the same stroke, the same grip. There's no right or wrong way. If you hold your sticks with your thumbs pointing up and play more with your fingers, that's fine. If you play more with your wrist, that's fine. One thing you want to try to do is keep from using your arms, okay? Because when you're playing metal, you want to try to keep the motion and the amount of muscles that you use to a minimum. That way you can save your energy, okay? So try to use more wrist or more fingers when you do these as well. And it's very important, like I said, to make sure that your grip is the same. Okay, another thing you want to look at is stick height. Make sure that you're getting good powerful strokes. Same thing with your feet, with your beater distance. You want to make sure that your beaters are coming back and you're not playing like this. You want to make sure that you're having good powerful strokes and a little this going on, okay? So make sure they're good solid strokes, all right? Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration of this exercise from beginning to end with the feet the hands and then the feet and hands combined. I'm not going to do each exercise for two minutes each. Obviously that would take up 30 minutes and there's a lot more things I want to show you guys in this video so I don't want to eat up that much tape. What I will do is do them for a few bars each, maybe 16 bars, something like that, and it'll give you a basic idea <coughs> of the flow and how this exercise goes. Okay, check it out.
Okay, on to the feet. <laughs> 